I said, hey y'all, I'm Mimi, aka the Pisces here, and this is one of your daily collective messages, okay? Like and subscribe if you get anything out of this. Thank you to those of you who do like, subscribe, and comment, okay? It is greatly loved and appreciated. God, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, all beings of light with the best interest of me and the collective at heart, you are always and forever welcome into my readings. Please, please, please give the Pisces here collective the best and most accurate information for them at this time why am i kind of giggling because i was sitting here reading these mystical lyrics okay so i had a gang gang setter reading gang gang sarah okay that's an african goddess and i had an isis reading right after that you know but they want me to do them together okay <laughs> so i'm just gonna run through the, no the notes in order the way that they are but first i want to get this overall energy because Oh no, they're talking about some interesting stuff here. <laughs> but I never really know, you know what I mean? Till I pull the overall energy. I don't know. It just depends. Sometimes I, I do know. I know exactly what they talk about and where they're going with this. But I feel like um, they're telling you different ways of protecting you. I don't know. I used to say they was about to give y'all a whole lot of information <laughs> right now. Okay, so... Um, the first thing on the list says plant crystals around your home, okay? It says amethyst, tourmaline, clear quartz. The bigger, the better, okay? Um, you could plant one of them or all of them um, at the north, south, east, and west of your home, okay? If you can. Um, and they say get a compass and use a compass for that, okay? Um, it says news, Scripted reports of events taking place that serve to push a specific agenda. Being fed lies and half-truths. Be careful not to be bamboozled. So, you really need to use your intuition at this time, okay? Like, and just don't believe everything that you're hearing, okay? Because, um, I feel like someone could be trying to, like, twist up some sort of information for you. Let me get one more of these. We got alcohol. This could be somebody who drinks a lot, okay? It says a substance that causes the good soul to leave the body, leaving it more open to low-frequency entity possession and creates toxicity, okay? So that's really what I'm getting out of this, okay? Somebody very toxic also could be spreading your news around town, okay? Or talking about you in some sort of... I mean, it's not really your news, you know what I mean? But... Your name is in their mouth, okay? We got the forces of light at the bottom of the deck, though, okay? It says, the forces of light in everything that's good, fair, peaceful, and loving in the world, okay? Forces working to bring peace and salvation to earth. I feel like, you know, you're definitely a part of the forces of light. You know, you go around and you just try to do the most positive thing. Um, they didn't say why. You should plant crystals around your home. I'm hearing protection, okay? I'm hearing good fortune, um also this morning okay this is gonna sound crazy but i seen a little elf <laughs> i seen a little elf run by okay and i was I, it was like out of the side of my eye you know and i turned and i looked down you know like by the bed like and i heard elves you know so you can have elves in your energy okay you could be seeing things like that you know seeing little things running by spirits told me you have entered a magical realm okay and so um you could have done the same thing too okay things could be very magical in your reality at this time and that's amazing okay that's exactly where spirit wants you okay they want you see and shit and hear and shit okay we got the emperor okay um let me see So it says, is there any better symbol of protection, authority, and decisive resolution? Emperor Buffy is a commanding leader who has earned respect. When this card takes charge of your reading, you are being asked to summon the strength of the slayer. You may find yourself needing to play peacekeeper or having to rise above a situation to find a logical solution. But whatever is being asked of you just know that you are chosen for a reason okay so that's what sarah and isis want you to really really know okay you are absolutely chosen for a reason we got um 
the page of snakes, okay? But really what's catching my attention, you know, is these unicorns all around her, okay? You could be seeing unicorns, okay? Like I said, you have entered a magical reality, okay? Where you could be seeing things, okay? You could be seeing things in your dream state, okay? But also in your waking life is what Spirit's saying, okay? You could be a life path number nine or eight or four, okay? Um, let me look up because I have two angel gang gang Sarah gave me two angel numbers, okay? Which I already looked up, so it's right there. Okay, so um 999 represents completion and transition. You also could be seeing the number 999 everywhere, okay? It says um 999 symbolizes a completion and the end of a current current situation making way for new opportunities okay so you know it could be the end of people you know these alcoholics or whoever they are these toxic people you know what i mean spreading your news about town like people are really starting to see you in the emperor lovers type of energy okay but also, this could have been like someone that you were a lover with, okay? You could be a life path number six, okay? Or you could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. That's what I'm really getting, okay? Or you could be a fire sign. You could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I'm hearing Virgo. Let me see. Where is the lovers? Okay, so it says, so you've drawn a card that makes you mouth the word lovers, have you? <laughs> well, friends, this is actually wonderful news. More than just a symbol of romantic love, this good omen is emblematic of a healthy, loving relationship with yourself as well as the outside world, okay? Which in turn breeds glowy, expansive feelings all around. And those, of course, could be very well led to fulfilling soulful love connection could very well lead to a <laughs> my bad fulfilling soulful love connection but why don't we just start by taking the outside world out for a coffee or soon to be lover okay so um you could have someone attracted to you or you could be attracted to someone and that's what i was saying because one of the channel songs was um fergie okay that isis gave me she gave me Fergie, I was just sitting here, you know, like the radio, changing channels, okay, singing all of these different songs. But I, I said, um, and every time uh, I break up, my world is crushed and I'm all alone. And the love bug crawls right back up and bites me. And I'm back. Can't help it, you girl. Can't help it. You know, you got me tripping. Oh, fumbling. Oh, slipping. Oh, tumbling. So clumsy cause I'm falling in love okay so you could be about to be falling in love okay and these papers just shot out of the book like out of nowhere okay so this is going to be beyond anything that you you know spirit saying it beyond anything that you have read about or heard about okay like you're coming into like some that crazy like you know i'm hearing romantic comedy kind of love okay it says and the next song was i don't like you but i love you seems like i'm always thinking of you okay but also i was hearing um mystical danger okay hey you what does it say oh been so long he's been on so please show me what it is that you want to see and i was like like and i was like what song is that and i was like what is this song okay so i was like and then i said danger i was like oh okay thank you and then it says go tell the dj to put my shit on i'm gonna keep you niggas and bitches in jump from the minute i get on taking their shirt off showing their tattoos screaming and hollering all um, got the gift to come up with it, put it together, deliver it, make them feel it, bitch I've been on, sharp like you pulled me out the pencil sharpener, bad like the student in the principal office, okay, put rappers in coffins, they dive like dolphins, I'm the damnedest, 
lyrical marvel you come across often okay <laughs> so i was like whoa like what what is going on i mean i feel like you guys are in a in a place of very high confidence you know just like you know recognizing all the different ways you know that you fuck it up and all of the different ways that you influence other people and make them want to follow you too you know that's like the vibe that i'm getting from this song you know i feel like it's not danger because you in danger it's because it's danger because bitches better watch out <laughs> get on and say danger get on the floor okay this nigga right here okay like they need to watch out for you okay because you are packing some kind of energy okay and then I was singing, cruel to be kind in the right measure, cruel to be kind, okay? So let me see. I don't really know the lyrics to that song, though. So I'm going to look it. It says, oh, I can't take another headache. Though you say you're my friend, I'm at my wit's end. You say your love is is bona fide, but that don't coincide with the things that you do. And when I ask you to be nice, you say you got to be cruel to be kind in the right measure. Cruel to be kind, it's a very good sign. Cruel to be kind means that I love you, baby. Okay, no, but that's not true though. Okay, so I guess um, Isis is saying, okay, well, they are saying that you need to watch out for people who who are cruel to you you know what i mean they're cruel to you until you get tired of it and then they want to be kind you know like oh you know i'm just trying to like keep it interest no bitch don't keep it interesting okay keep it boring and uneventful for me that's how i fucking like it okay like be kind to me or don't be around me i seen 1151 okay so because you could have like some fake friends in your energy you know what i mean trying to act like you know they're feeling you or they're there for you but they just see this wonderful amazing energy that you're in you know what i mean and they might even be like they're hella tired toxic okay like whoever the fuck i'm talking about they toxic but let me let me hear some stuff some more stuff about you okay because they do want to talk about like um dna upgrades and things like that okay it says dna upgrades okay you may have stopped aging okay so you might feel like you know you've been looking the same for years okay <laughs> spirit saying that is a part of your dna upgrade okay you're just gonna keep looking like that for a very long time okay because you have done some karmic bond clearing you know or maybe this is why you still need to do some karmic bond clearing you know it's like people that are bad for your energy are really low vibrational they really do drain the life out of you okay and they will have your ass looking older than you are you know aging when you shouldn't even be aging okay <laughs> because you already received the dna upgrade okay like these people live their energy literally takes years off of your life okay so be very careful who you're having around you and who's in your energy and my incense went out which is weird okay it never go out okay somebody want to put your flame out okay they don't <laughs> spirit said they don't want the smoke though <laughs> okay look you can be a photographer okay um yeah look i wrote warner syndrome okay because this, these notes are from um the age of adeline okay and adeline is so interesting but i kind of want to get through the notes you know before i kind of tell you like <laughs> my like spiritual take on the age of Adeline okay but that's pretty much what happened to Adeline okay she got into okay spirits wanted me to do it anyway okay <laughs> they're like just tell it like that okay so Adeline um you know she goes she lives a whole life you know till she's like 30 something you know and then um one night she's out and she's driving she gets into a car accident and she goes into this super freezing water okay and then at the same time that she's in this water and her heart stops a lightning bolt comes down and hits the water and then she stops aging okay so she spends all this time you know changing her identity over and over again you know when she runs into people that she's known you know from her past lives or um you know people who she's been in a relationship sometimes like she ended up getting into a relationship with 
somebody who was the grandson of someone she had already been with you know what I mean but she had let him go you know because she knew she wasn't going to age so she let him go so he could get married and he could be happy again you know and the dad even begs her to stay with him like please he's like please don't run this time you know and then when she does decide to love you know so I'm sorry spoiler alert when she does decide to love and to be with that person then she starts aging again you know like um what is that what is that come on what's the movie spirit if you guys want me to talk about it okay with will smith you know where he's a superhero um it starts with an h <laughs> oh my gosh but i can't think of it it's like right at the tip of my like brain okay um but he hancock okay 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 so hancock he um when him and his lover get close together, you know, they get weaker, you know, so because the point is so that they could grow old, you know, but also I feel like you're attracting a connection that's going to be like the total opposite of that, you know, um, you could have been someone who got into a fatal accident before you could have actually been struck by lightning before. Okay. Um, and you could even feel like, you know, you have to sort of hide your gifts and things from from the authorities because she hid because she didn't want to be a lab rat. She didn't want to be, you know, like taken over by the government and always have to, you know, report to them and on on her and the fact that she's still alive and go through all of these new studies where, you know, they're trying to figure out, you know, what's wrong with her. There was nothing wrong with her. God just decided her life needed to be a little bit longer. OK, and I feel like um, this is the kind of thing that's sort of happening. Like if you think about the people in the Bible, okay, I'm sorry, but my channel is, they're just actively channeling through me like at a rapid rate, okay? But if you think about the people in the Bible, okay, they live a lot longer, okay, they, um literally live longer okay <laughs> and this is the kind of aging that you guys are about to start doing okay we got Gaia gateway activation okay it says learning experiences wisdom transmission and earth intelligence okay so I hope that you guys are please 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 um, be going outside every day and tapping into that rainbow grid okay <laughs> spirit saying that's where I get all this lovely wonderful information I tap into the grid every single day you know um, you stand on the grass they're wanting me to just tell you stand in the grass okay with your with your shoes off okay and imagine that bright beam of white light coming down you know like kind of going down your left side and into the earth okay and then sort of like just keep your eyes closed until you find the grid okay they're saying they'll they they will let you know when you hit the grid okay and then you pull that rainbow crystalline energy back up into the right side of you you know and it makes like this amazing just like circle of like <laughs> rainbow light like I could never explain it to you okay um, we got the emerald tablet okay you could be connected to the emerald tablet or you're receiving you're receiving these kinds of activations you know you're receiving a guy in activation you're receiving an emerald tablet activation okay it says cosmic order ordering in divine alchemy okay conscious manifesting okay a lot of you guys are finally doing it okay you're finally consciously manifesting not being like man well I did this manifestation steps and I did this and I did that but spirit saying all you really needed to do was get into that energy of love with the Venusian Galactic Council you know Isis is saying you guys are really getting the hang of this okay I'm so very proud <laughs> um it says star being guides answer the call time to shine okay so they're asking you guys to shine you know to um, sort of let your light body encompass your physical body and just like take over, you know. I I, mean, I heard Jesus take the wheel, okay. <laughs> we got the central sun, okay. It says abundance, downloads, regeneration, and success, okay. So it's like um, you guys could be like miraculously healing from different things, okay. Like um, a couple of years ago, I hurt my ankle, you know, and like over the past couple of days, I don't know what happened, but I sort of like, I don't know, like re sprained it or something. And it was really hurting, like when I moved it a certain way, you know? And so I reiki it, you know? I asked Archangel Raphael to help me do that reiki session, you know? I reiki it and now it's feeling great. It's feeling amazing today, you know? And it, it took like maybe two days for it to heal, you know? But I feel like I had really hurt it very bad, okay? We got the Temple of Truth, okay? Um, I feel like your throat chakra, you know, is just like wide open, okay? It says throat chakra, authenticity 
authenticity and self-expression you know they're commending you on the way that you truly are walking in your very own unique energy okay and they want you to keep on doing this okay look at isis coming out okay <laughs> with the earth star activation okay it says anchoring grounded action in isis energy love that so you know you have so many different things going on, okay, with the halls of learning. You're learning a lot of new things, you know, receiving a lot of downloads, okay. Um, your spirit guides, it says spirit guides, confirmation and great lessons, okay. So, you know, if you were wondering, you know, if you were doing a good job of learning and, and walking in this I am presence, okay, at the bottom of the deck, I love it, okay. It says light body activation, assessing the divine within. You are absolutely doing it, you know. You are, you have... And, and look at this, like, this is so interesting how this karmic, like, when the karmic board gets cleared, you know, this looks just like that, like, in this light. You can't really see it very good, but it, it's kind of the same thing, okay? Like, you went from there to here, you know what I'm saying? So, um, it says Merkaba activation, transcendence, ascension, you are rising up, okay? So, that is what's really going on, you know? And please don't think that this is not something that's being seen, okay? That's being recognized. Like, people are peeping this this glow, this amazing transition that you are making, okay? Excuse me. I was going to say before that burp that, you know, maybe you're the one that needs to be cruel to be kind a little bit. You know, you need to be um, a little bit cruel to these toxic people in order to kind of let them go and go on about their business. And that in that you're being very kind to yourself. OK, I seen 2111 on the clock. You might want to look up that angel number. OK. Whew. I knew they had a lot of stuff to say. I seen 2121, but I had no idea it was going to be this much stuff, okay? <laughs> they were like, just do them together, okay? So what else would you like to tell the collective? Okay, we got the chariot. So it's like all of this stuff is happening very fast in your energy right now, you know? They're saying don't feel like this is something that, you know, you're going to have to wait for. You never really do have to wait for your activations and things. You just have to become aware of them. And and you could literally be like, oh, I'm getting an emerald tablet activation. Oh, oh no. Or like, oh, I received an emerald tablet activation. Oh, I'm loving it. I'm loving the energy from it. You know what I mean? That's just kind of acknowledging that it has, you know, mixed itself into your energy, you know, like I love this Earth Star activation, okay, with the Four of Wands, you know, they're wanting you to really acknowledge all of these upgrades and things that you're getting, you know, and really sort of have your own little celebration, you know, I, they want you, they're like, I know you're feeling that happier energy, okay, and when you do feel um, a more negative, lower vibrational type of energy, you know what I mean, that's, we got the Knight of Swords, okay, I feel like when you do get like a darker type of energy, you know what I mean? It could be people like trying to rush in, you know what I mean? And just like ruin your day and put a damper on your shit. But also it could just be those kinds of thoughts and feelings rushing through you very fast. You know what I mean? So that they can hurry up and get out of the way so that you can really walk in this light um, energy that you are in. Okay. We got the six of swords. Okay. So this is what they're really saying. You know, they really have been, you could have been coming up with different um types of feelings and things you know or even running into um a lot of unsavory people or people that you know you have left behind you know we got the ten of pentacles you know but i feel like it was all you know sort of orchestrated and watched over by your spirit team you know for them to help you get to this point you know where you are feeling very rich very wealthy yeah, we got the Queen of Swords, okay, which just makes me feel like, you know, really organizing your mind. And it's so interesting, you know, because like it said with with uh, Buffy, you know, um, the Queen of Swords in this card is kind of the same thing. You know, I think her name is uh, Katana and she they're like, just read it. But she takes souls with her sword, you know, but she has to have that discernment, you know what I mean, to decide which souls are evil or which souls to take, you know, and really, she really doesn't have to decide anything because she can sort of see right through them, you know, and really see exactly what their soul is made of. And I feel like you sort of have this same type of ability. Okay. 
Come on. Let me see it. It's first. So it says, yeah, it's Katana. It says the Queen of Swords may have a sharp edge, but she is a trustworthy, honest, and practical leader. Katana wields her blade honorably, cutting evil at its roots, and she embodies this queen with her fierce independence. She is encouraging you to draw on your own resources, stand on your own two feet, and stay true to your calling, even if others disagree with you, okay? And I just feel, like I said, you know, they were helping you to get a lot stronger in your mind, you know, so to the point where, you know, what others thought or what others had to say about what you were doing didn't matter, okay? Like, really bringing you true balance with this Two of Pentacles, you know, and this Knight of Wands, I kind of want to read it too, you know, but the Knight of Wands does talk about, you know, being, being very personal persistent you know and passionate about you know the way that you're headed you know on that horse okay uh let me see the knight of wands it says it's shazam on the card okay two <laughs> so it says, well-meaning, but a bit impulsive, Billy Batson has a ton of power that he's still learning how to wield. When this card emerges, it brings with it a rush of energy, ideas, inspiration, and excitement, a bolt of brilliance that can be easy to get lost in. Remember, without a plan, inspiration is fleeting, okay? And I just feel like that's what Spirit's really been working with you on, you know, on setting the proper plans, you know, and really executing them and doing it very quickly okay like there's a lot of quick forward movement going on in your in your energy you know and also I feel like I'm hearing word around town okay so like that's what the news is about honey <laughs> it's about the way that you're moving and the way that you're operating you know and some people could even be like on your head you know what I mean if you drink a little bit here and there you know but spirit is saying you know it really will bring you more strength you know if you just don't drink that much you know if you're gonna drink you know have a glass of wine or have one drink is what they're really saying okay <laughs> um but they be on my head about drinking too sometimes okay <laughs> but I don't usually do it you know I'll have my times you know where I'm really hearing like let's go on a bender I was watching this show okay <laughs> I was watching this show uh what was it called don't trust the bitch in apartment 23 and I was only watching it because I live in apartment 23 <laughs> and I just thought that it was so interesting but the chick like she's so great <laughs> the chick was great okay and she was so fun you know and she like kidnapped her friends and made them go on like you know a bender you know where they go they they went to the Hamptons you know to party and to kind of let loose okay and um you know she was like talking about you know like that's the point of a bender you know when you go and you go free you let yourself you know just be wild and have a little bit of fun and then you make these big epiphanies you know that you wouldn't have otherwise made when you're in the house okay spirits really saying you know you might like you could be someone who really does believe that um you know like like you're gonna get seduced in some sort of way you know we got seduction you could feel like you know maybe the dark side of things is kind of seduce trying to seduce you over you know but spirit saying you know <laughs> at the end of the day you know you are light and dark you know there is not really any seduction you know you just have to find a balance you know and stay away from these toxic people who really do have your names in your name in their mouths okay yeah look a silent retreat <laughs> spirit is wanting you to get along for a little bit you know you could have recently you know come off of some sort of bender or come off of some sort of partying you know but you were using that time to conjure up you know another piece of your legacy is what spirit's really saying and don't it look like you know they're blowing out smoke okay <laughs> spirit's really saying like sometimes they even send you into that type of energy you know where because um i was saying you know when i came back like i was having a great time when i left you know when i stopped recording for two weeks i was partying you know I was out like I was functioning and I really enjoyed myself you know and I really um made a lot of big epiphanies that you know I probably wouldn't have otherwise made just in the house you know meditating and exercising every morning you know I really had to 
really let loose and go out you know look look at the restoration you know but spirit saying now is the time for you to restore from that you know what i mean in court sort of incorporate what you just recently learned you know from your time being wild and your time being out you know you kind of have to balance it back and forth and spirit did already commend your relationship that you have with yourself you know isis is saying you guys have been doing an amazing job of showing yourself that unconditional love you know really um standing in your truth standing in your strength and being honest and taking accountability if you do when people do feel like you did something wrong or you know you've wronged them in some sort of way you know really dance it okay like really being free you know yourself freely oh wait slide with me that'd be your best day okay that's what this song be saying oh no it doesn't have a uh, lyrics but she's saying you know i had to set boundaries and she'd be like slide with me that'd be your best day and i just feel like that's what it is with you you know like when people get a chance to slide with you you know when you do come out of this solitude where you do like to spend a lot of time you know like people really love when you come around you know and you kind of like bless them with your energy okay like you're so great okay and people really do love that about you you know and I feel like you could have spent a lot of time in the void recently you know but they're saying you know it was all for a good reason you know things are about to start being a lot more clear to you and the directions and actions that they want you to take you know look at why did action <laughs> action okay they want you to start taking the proper actions okay so that they can lead you somewhere okay um discovering like a deeper part of this contract that you have with god okay and that's another six and i was supposed to look up the angel number 848 okay we got the angel of strength that strength that i was just talking about you're standing in that strength at this time you know really being blessed and carefully guided by your angels and ancestors because you're one of the healers of the ages baby okay there's so many um and that's another six right there with that five and that one okay Okay, yeah, but they're calling you to this rest and rejuvenation, just like they said, you know, that kind of went on top of restoration. So just take your time, you know, and allow these. Yeah, we got the storm warning, okay, which brings us back to that toxic energy. There is some toxic energy around, though, you know. So Spirit's saying just be on the lookout for someone trying to come in and, you know, cause some sort of storm, you know, try to, try to like, shake up your your energy or whatever you know and if they do come around you know try to keep your calm and get through that situation as good as you can you know and make sure to show appreciation for that for the fuckery you know <laughs> because you need the fuckery sometimes you know and we should just absolutely be grateful when things seem like they're going bad you know because usually those crazy situations and those crazy happenings you know they show us something we wouldn't have seen otherwise okay what else isis we got the temperance, exactly. That's what I was just saying. Keep that calm, you know what I mean? And um, remember what road it is you're walking down, you know? Remember that you're on the right side of the Y, okay? And not on the left side. <laughs> what video was that? The Goddess on New video, okay? Um, you might want to watch that, okay? We got the Five of Swords because it just looks like, you know, every time I see this card, I hear me against the world, you know? But I feel like um, you're kind of acknowledging that it's not really you against the world. You know what I mean? It's just it and these swords, you know, they can also be points of views. You know, I feel like, you know, you're choosing, you know, the highest point of view over all of the other things, you know, and the clouds are sort of clearing for you with this ace of wands. And also you're, like I said, coming into this more passionate and persistent type of energy headed towards your goals or whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish. And you're doing great. OK, look at the ten of moons, OK, or the ten of cups. Um, and also the Ten of Cups is like, you know, you have all of this beautiful ancestral spiritual backing, you know, and I feel like you've become a lot less bound than you were. You know, you you have unbound your truth. OK, with this page of swords. And we got the three of moons, okay, or the three of cups, because it's a celebration. Like, this is great news. I, I hope that you're celebrating this, baby. Okay, now I'm going to read you 848. Since I, like, you know, slowed my roll a little bit. Slide. 
Okay, so 848 says abundance, prosperity, and material and financial success that comes from hard work, dedication, and practicality. 848 is a sign from the universe to keep pursuing your goals, especially when you're in a slump, in order to achieve your dreams, okay? It says um, a message of encouragement and support from the angels guiding you to let go of your fears and self-doubts and pursue your ambitions, you know, like free of fears. Just come completely pursue it you know what I mean do whatever you got to do you know it, it doesn't mean like to rush through it you know what I mean or to try to make something hurry up and happen you know but always be taking some sort of little step you know you can do it as slow or as fast as you want is really what spirit's saying you know just make sure that you're being very practical when you're making your plans and taking your steps too and don't be too attached to the outcome is what they're saying, you know, don't don't manifest something and then try to control the way that that manifestation comes in or the way that it happens. OK, just be totally detached, <laughs> be totally detached from the outcome. I'm laughing because this says manifest the fuck out of your dreams. OK, it says the most valuable thing to admit the, the most valuable thing to admit to is not your deepest wound. It is you really true. It is what you really truly want. OK, we're talking about your biggest crazy asses, dreams and desires. Be vulnerable, at least with yourself. Write that shit down. Make a to do list or maybe even tell someone make it happen. You can do this. OK, let me get two more. I feel like that's one and this is one. OK. It says, this could be the day you stop doing that self-destructive thing you do. Dang, okay? It says, what's the first thing you think of when you read that self-destructive thing you do? There it is. Now imagine what it would be like to stop doing that thing, like, right now. Think of who you could ask for help, because if you could have stopped on your own, you probably already would have. Now call that person and ask for help. You can even make up a safe word like bananas, okay? It says text <clears throat> it says text because no one calls any anyone anymore it says emoji because emojis are more effective than words <laughs> okay it says fuck what they think okay put this card in your pocket and use it as your mantra today all day or you can write fuck what they think on a piece of paper and, and try this okay um it says put this Put this card in your pocket and use it as your mantra all day and tomorrow too while you're at it. Fuck what they think. Fuck what they think. Fuck what they think. All together now. Fuck what they think. Okay, look. <laughs> Let freedom ring. Fuck what they think for the win. Okay, fuck what they think. That is really truly the best way to, to go along with that. And also right here it says you don't have to rebuild a relationship with everyone you have forgiven okay it says you are a product of what you believe it says guess who ain't gotta explain shit to nobody you okay it says self-care isn't selfish and it says if you wouldn't say it to a friend then you shouldn't say it to yourself okay drink water drink that water and mind your own fucking business okay it says exhale that bullshit okay <laughs> it says being weird as fuck is better than being boring as hell okay so fuck what everybody think about how how you are and what you do and oh that's weird and oh that's evil and I don't ah fuck that okay who the fuck asked you for your opinion bitch not me I surely wasn't me <laughs> oh yeah yeah and this is the kind of energy that you know Isis and Seta are asking you to get into you know really following your intuition and what it is that you know is right and proper for you okay that's what's going to be the most successful for you let me get two more well two of these we got the beggar and the exorcist, okay? It says, um, the light attributes of the beggar, of the beggar, okay? Your, your name could be Becker or something like that, okay? <laughs> um, it says... 
confronts empowerment at the level of physical survival, awakens the spiritual authority of humility, compassion, and self-esteem, okay? And the shadow attribute is dependent, dependent on others to the exclusion of effort, you know? Like some people would rather go around and like fish for compliments than give themselves a lot of love and compliment themselves, you know? That's the example that they're giving me, you know? So lean on your own, lean on you for, you know, those self-esteem boosts and that compassionate boost you know what I mean and lean on you for saying that nice loving thing to yourself that needs to be said okay um, we got the exorcist okay it says freeing yourself and others of destructive impulses and then the shadow attribute is um, fear of facing your own demons okay always make sure that you face your own demons so no one can come along and sort of exercise that demon out of you in a negative way if you just handle it and you know take note of it and exercise your own demons for yourself there's nothing anyone can attack or try to you know pull out of you or expose about you to the world because you walk in your truth and 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 who gives a fuck anyway, right? <laughs> like, I don't care. Like, oh, so-and-so said, okay, and? <laughs> what did that have to do with me, okay? I love, I love when people be going around talking that shit about me and they don't know what I'm on or what I'm into. I love that, okay? Because that means that they were so desperate to talk about me, to have me in their mouth, that they made some shit up. <laughs> and I just think that's so cute. Oh. And I, you gave me so much energy when you did that. You know what I mean? <laughs> Spirits are saying, like, just make light of everything, you know? It sounds like the irresponsible thing to do, but this is all about your inner child and your inner soul, okay? <laughs> and so your, your inner child is very light. It's very fun. It's very free. And children don't give a fuck about what you think about what they into, okay? That is the type of thing that gets programmed into them, okay? So deprogram yourself from giving the fuck about what everybody thinks and what how you know everybody's opinion of what you should be where you should be and how you should be getting it okay spirits say you should be getting it getting while the getting is good getting while you can you should be getting it I don't know why I'm hearing that, okay? This is the King of Pumpkins, okay? Or the King of Pentacles, okay? So maybe you're gonna be getting you finna get it while the getting is good, baby, okay? The getting is good for you. So don't ruin it by being worried about others and 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 <laughs> and them, you know, but the really truth of the matter is that they are worried about you and how you getting it and why is the getting so good for you, okay? It says, the king of pumpkins is a gracious and industrious man. He is a protector and shelters his loved ones during times of trouble. He is wise in matters of business and aids the endeavors of others. This card may also indicate the successful outcome of a venture, okay? So this is what they're saying, you know. Whatever it is that you put your mind, your time, your energy into, it is going to pay off 100%, okay? I'm hearing dividends. It's going to pay so much, okay? You could be someone who... Um, likes to invest or who is thinking about investing okay um spirit saying uh go ahead invest you know do whatever it is that your soul is calling you to do and it will pay off for you okay it says this card this is the ace of pumpkins okay at the bottom of this deck um it says this card represents the beginning of a business venture or the start of financial success now is the time to kick off a new endeavor, look for new beginnings in your career or investments, okay? Meet the op meet this opportunity with an entrepreneurial spirit as no reward comes without risk, okay? So, with that, I'm done, okay? I hope you got something that you needed out of that. I hope you have a happy, fabulous, wonderful, and amazing day, and I will see you later. Bye!